we come to appreciate the word. Not my will, but thy will be done. Use us as you see fit to teach your people. Open their hearts and minds to receive your word. And after receiving your word, let it spring up into a well of life that we may go and do your work, your service forever. In Jesus' name, amen. So one more time, we're going to go, praise God.
We all of us, all of us have uh, seen trees that were leaning one way or the other. And, and it told a story, that leaning tree. Uh, first of all, it's leaning and you might need to pay attention to it. Uh, for the possibility exists that it's not only leaning, but it could also fall. And by the same token, we have seen leaning trees. Uh, uh, that's it, that's it. And the only thing that prevent them from falling was that they were leaning on another tree uh, that stood straight and strong. Uh, church, uh, uh, some of you might be blessed, uh, more blessed than I, but I uh, was raised in what y'all love to call up the country. And I had to cut wood. Uh, uh, some of you might have never heard of poke wood. Uh, I had to poke wood. Uh, I had to learn how to run a chainsaw. And I learned very quickly. Uh, uh, very quickly. Uh, that a leaning tree, if it's leaning one way, does not necessarily mean when you cut it, it's going to fall that way. You see, leaning trees are dangerous uh, by themselves because um, a little thing can cause them to topple. A sudden gust of wind, extended rain can soften the soil, and the tree, without warning, uh, can come crashing down. That's why that anything leaning needs to be properly handled to prevent catastrophe from happening. Uh, maybe you have not thought about it, uh, but every day you wake up, uh, you lean a little farther toward death. And one day, yes, all of us, uh, we're going to talk it over into the grave. Uh, but as I have learned, uh, I'm not alone. For Jesus is my help. He holds me. He protects me. He keeps me from falling before my time. Uh, he shields me from the gusts of Satan. Uh, he protects me from the storms that Satan tries to introduce into my life. And I'm able to stand because what? I am leaning on him. Uh, the songs say, the songs say, I'm learning. Uh, I'm learning to lean. Uh, I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Finding more power than I ever dreamed. Uh, I'm learning to love the old Jesus. Uh, John, 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 in John 13, 23. Uh, you'll see the story at the Last Supper. Uh, it says, now there was leaning on Jesus' bosom, uh, one of the disciples who Jesus loved. Uh, and as I said, of course, that disciple was John, the very one, the same John that God entrusted the care of his mother uh, as he died on the cross. Uh, in Hebrew 11, 21, uh, it says, by faith, Jacob, when he was dying, uh, he blessed both of his son Joseph, and he worshiped, uh, leaning on the top of his staff. Uh, that, that, that verse put Jacob's life into perspective. I'm going to give you a little of it, but I sure wish you would go read it today. Because early in Jacob's life, he had been accused, or he had been known as what some of us do sometimes. Uh, he was a liar. Uh, he was a cheat. Uh, he was a usurper. Uh, a supplier. Uh, he would do anything he wanted. Uh, uh, he was a self-made man. Uh, so he would lie, cheat, and steal, and he did it uh, openly. Does it remind you of anybody? Does it remind you of anybody? 
Yeah. He was so bad he cheated his brother. Hmm? Out of his birthright of the firstborn son. And then on top of that, he deceived his dad and got the blessings of the firstborn son through deception. Anybody know you go reap what you? You so? He cheated, he cheated his brother, but his uncle cheated him for a long time. Huh? And Jacob got tired of it. Jacob said, I'll be back, but I'd rather go home uh, and try to face my brother uh, than uh, stay down here and keep being cheated. Uh, but on his way home, uh, he had an encounter. Uh, you see, sometimes uh, walking along, uh, uh, you can run into Jesus. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I, but on this night, on his way home, uh, he had an encounter with the angel of the Lord. Uh, you know the story that he wrestled with him. Uh, how, what, how, how long? Uh, and we can't stay here? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. But he wrestled with him all right long till the break of day. Uh, and the angel said, let me go. Uh, but Jacob said, I will not let you go huh, uh, until you bless me. Somewhere during that wrestling match, uh, Jacob came face to face with the wickedness in him, uh, the corrupt man that he had become. Uh, and he realized he needed to lean on somebody. Uh, he realized he couldn't fix himself. <laughs> Uh, and, and when Jacob said, I won't let you go till you bless me, the angel of the Lord just put forth his hand uh, and touched Jacob in the hollow of Jacob's thigh. And, and he threw it out of joint. Uh, and the muscle of the thigh shrank. Uh, and from that day on, do you know about, about, about uh, Jacob? Uh, uh, he, he, he leaned. To the side that the Lord had touched. Uh, that day, not only did he uh, uh, lean, uh, he got a new name. Uh, he was no longer called Jacob the liar, or the heel grabber, uh -huh, the supplanter, the deceiver. But his name was called Israel. Uh, uh, and Israel means prince, uh, who had power with God. You were some princes and princesses like me. Uh, and you walk around here like you don't have any power. Uh, but God has given you some power. Uh, and all you got to do is just flip the switch. Uh, all you got to do is just, well, and God I live, and God puts, and I'm going to lean on Jesus. Uh, well, well, uh, we got to understand. Uh, uh, when he learned, see, that's it. When he learned to lean, he found power uh, uh, from God. I, I, I don't tell you it doesn't make sense sometimes, but the strength and the power of a child of God uh, is found not in his strength, uh, huh, but in his weakness. Uh, what you mean, preacher? Oh, well, don't you remember Paul said in 2 Corinthians, uh, therefore uh, I take pleasure in infirmities. Uh, in reproach, in necessity, in persecution, in distress for Christ's sake. For when I'm weak, then he is wrong. Huh? And of the weathers, huh? you could try to do it your own self and realize what I cannot do. It. I gotta lean on Jesus. Uh, uh, why? Because Jesus knows that we are weak of innocence. So. And I'm going through something, and I can't make it by myself, and I want to try to handle it, and I'm trying to be strong, and Jesus just reminds us, he said, hold on, Taylor, uh, uh, you just stay where you at, huh? My grace uh, is sufficient, huh? For thee, huh? For my strength, huh? not your strength, but my strength is made perfect in weakness. So when that person is cussing you out, when that person is talking about you, don't get up in their face. Turn and just walk away and pray for them because, well, guess what? I need the strength, Lord, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to revert. I'm going to use my strength. But God said, you know, I'll fight your battles. You just... 
You just gotta be seen. Now the problem is we don't wanna be seen. You see the greatest battle? We will never fight against believers. Huh? It's not with the devil. What you said, preacher? What you said? No, no, no. It's not even with sin. Huh? The greatest battle you fight is with yourself. Hmm? I'm fighting with the spirit of self-pride. I'm somebody. Huh? That makes me feel like I'm strong. Huh? I'm independent. Huh? We feel we can do anything we put our mind to. You've been told, whatever I put my mind to, I can do. Guess what? I couldn't let you know that's a lie. Huh? Huh? That's a lie. It sounds good. Huh? But you cannot do anything by yourself. It's only when you allow God to enter the equation uh, that you can begin to accomplish something. Now, I know some of you might think you're doing it by yourself. Huh? Some of you might have thought you woke yourself up this morning. Huh? Huh? Some of you might have thought that well, on your own street you got up and dressed yourself. I want to let you know that if it had not been for God on your side, you would still be lying. See, our problem is we come up in pride. And pride is a killer. Pride will tell you you can do it on your own. It will tell you you don't need to wait on God. You don't need to pray. You don't need to help anyone. Help. You don't have to read the Bible. You already know what it says. You're so talented. You don't need no anointing of the Holy Spirit. Pride will tell you. You don't need to listen to that preacher telling you how to live. I'm grown. I already know what I'm saying. Huh? But Paul cautions us. He said, when a person thinks he uh, stand there, take heed lest he fall. Oh, uh, the strongest believer, uh, the most anointed and effective believer, uh, is the one who has learned the secret uh, and the necessity and the joy of leaning on Jesus. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, as believers, uh, as believers, we are all uh, leaning. Uh, the only question is which way? Which way are you leaning? Huh? Uh, some of us, some of us, I heard straddle the fence. Uh, there's no such thing as straddle the fence. Because uh, uh, if you straddle the fence, you should not save. Uh, but some of us think, guess what? We can uh, do what the world will. Uh, and come in on Sunday morning and jump a little bit. Huh? But you messed up, huh? Huh? See, you got to learn. Huh? You got to learn. Uh, Proverbs 3 and 5, that most of you know about heart. Trust in the Lord how? With all the heart. Uh, and you do what? Lean not huh? to thy own understanding. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm preaching. I'm preaching right now. Huh? Uh, but some of us are leaning, quite frankly, in the wrong direction. Uh, right. huh? You're leaning in the wrong direction when you convince yourself that you know what's best for you. Uh, when you believe that you're strong enough to stay saved, uh, even though you don't pray, uh, you don't read the word, uh, you don't come to Sunday school, you don't come to church, uh, don't come to Bible study, but guess what, huh? I love to know what uh, when you believe that, huh? 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 When you believe that you can make it without the fellowship of God and the saints, huh? you leaning in the wrong direction, huh? Yeah. Some of you may think, guess what? I don't need you sitting beside me. I can do this. Yes, you do, huh? Huh? Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, you do, huh? When you start letting little things slip, huh? I miss this Sunday, huh? Guess what, huh? I miss next Sunday, huh? Uh, pretty soon, well, I can miss three Sundays, huh? Uh, and you need to understand, uh, when you begin to see it, uh, it becomes a visit to the spirit of Christ. Uh, and our story, Lot, had grown in numbers and strength until now he was a rival to his uncle, Abram. Uh, in other words, the flesh now, huh? Is almost as strong as the spirit man. Uh, the flesh, the flesh is the self life. Uh, this is where people start leaning in the wrong direction. Uh, they begin to allow self to be in charge. Uh, 
Self. Self equals my way, my plans, my feelings, what I want, what feels good to me, uh, what makes sense to me. Uh, uh. You see, Pastor, I know you're talking there, but guess what? I don't see anything wrong with it. It looks all right to me. Uh. Uh, it, it's just rap music. Uh, it's not that evil rock and roll stuff. Uh, 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 pass, come on now. Uh, it's just the movie just rated R. Uh, and I don't even go to the show. Uh, I just watch it at home. Uh, Besides, preacher, it's not pornography or anything like that. Uh, uh, and then it, it's just like I don't feel like going to church uh, today. Uh, I'm all right. I'm not a backslider or anything like that. I just want to hang out today and chill at the house. Huh? Give me a break, preacher. Huh? I'm not going to the bar. I'm not going to the crack house. I'm not looking for a prostitute. I just want to hang out at the house and watch the tube and relax. Well, said God said, forget not the assembly. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Back to my story. Back to my story. Here, here we see Abram tell Lot. Uh, 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 Dr. Peter Reg, he said, uh, uh, now Lot and, 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 and Abram heard of fussing and fighting. Uh, huh? and, and Abram tell Lot, uh, the Jews was ready to go. Uh, if you want to go left, I'll go right. Now, if, if you go right, I'll Go left, huh? To keep them from fussing and fighting over the water in the fields, huh? But everything, get this now, everything that Lot has gotten is because of Abram, huh? And you would think that with that in mind, uh, he would have told Abram, no, all I have is because of you, huh? Your kindness and God's kindness to you, huh? So Abram, you choose and what is left, I'll take it, huh? Because I've been leaning on you. But no, but no, greed, greed took over. Uh, and he looks at the best land he thought. Everything that looks good. Uh, 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 he thought it was because it had plenty of water. And it didn't even look like the garden of, of the Lord. It looked like the land of Egypt. Uh, Egypt's land was known for its rich, fertile ground and lots of water. So greed takes the land huh, uh, to the east. Uh, so he said, he said, take the land east of the plains of Jordan. Uh, uh, Lot is leaning in the wrong direction. Uh, greed has him trying to get the best. Uh, but there was one problem he did not figure out. Huh? Going that direction was a city called Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, uh, and that was there where he pitched his tent. Huh? The only problem was that the men of the city of, of, of Sodom and Gomorrah, they was wicked huh? and they were sinners huh? before the Lord exceeded. Now, they were just a little bit of sinners, to Jericho. They was what? Full of wickedness. Huh? Uh, he was out on there. He was living outside on the tent. But let's fast forward a few frames. Uh, Lot has not moved his family into town. Uh, he's not long uh, They are not living in the midst of a city that is given to perversion and unrivaled lust and sensuality. Uh, they are no longer on the outskirts of town. Uh, they are not just necessarily passerby who occasionally come to town. Uh, they are no longer on the Outside, guess what? Looking in, now they are on the inside of one of the most wicked cities of the town. Uh, Romans 12 2 reminds us be not conformed to this world, uh, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you got to be careful when you get too close to uh, evil people and evil things. Uh, he had got too close to the now, I'm just going to ask you, brother, to do me a favor. You don't have to do it this morning. Uh, but if, I, if you don't mind, just look down your line if you see somebody. Uh, tell the person sitting next to you, close enough to, it's too close, huh, for the wrong thing. Huh? The Bible said, have no fellowship with the unfruitful workers of darkness, huh, but rather reprove them. Huh? Huh? There is continual pressure on the child of God huh? to relax. See, every day Satan is trying to get you to let down your guard. Huh? He wants you to relax. 
that's uh, turn it down. Quit talking so much about Jesus. Uh, uh, become tolerant huh? and flexible toward the spirit of worldliness, huh? ungodliness, huh? and perversion that's going on in our nation, in this world. Huh? Don't get down on folks because they lie. Huh? Don't get down on folks because they cheat and steal. Huh? Don't get down on them because they live in a lifestyle. Guess what? Huh? That is wrong. Huh? Man, this is the world, man. Come on. Huh? Oh, no, no, no. I got to keep telling my Bible says a liar won't make it in. A drunk won't make it in. A homosexual won't make it in. Huh? So I'm going to lean on. What has happened? What has happened? Huh? The line between right and wrong has been erased. Huh? And from a world view, we talk a world now, huh? It is nearly impossible to discern the difference between good and evil, huh? What you mean, preacher? Huh? Isaiah 5 and 20 said, Woe unto them that call evil good uh, and good evil, huh? That put darkness for light and light for darkness, huh? They put bitter for sweet, huh? And sweet for bitter, huh? Taylor, uh, 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 anybody know what an uh, uh, ostrich do uh, when he's trying to hide? Huh? Uh, anybody pay attention to what an ostrich do? Huh? Because his whole body is up there and he'll stick his head in the sand, huh? Think he hid it, huh? His head is hid, but his whole body is standing up there, huh? 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 So what I'm trying to tell you, let's not be spiritual arsons that bury our heads in the sand and pretend that because we are but we ignore it, it does not exist. Huh? Uh, just because we look over this sin is still sin, huh? And you need to call it out, huh? Our nation is leaning away from God. The church is leaning towards Sodom and Gomorrah, towards tolerance of sin and compromise to avoid conflict. We don't want to tell anybody it's a sin because they won't get mad with us. Huh? They're not gonna speak to me. Huh? Guess what? Huh? I can't worry about that, huh? So I know you not speak to me, then God not to speak to me, huh? So I'm gonna tell you what that said. The Lord. Uh, how many times have I been here since I told you, uh, but Tim, I'm not going to hell for you. Uh, I'm not going to hell for you. Huh? I'm not going to compromise the world uh, to keep your friendship. Hmm? Every man or woman that ever stands behind a pulpit uh, will held accountable by God uh, to speak the truth uh, and to speak it with clarity and simplicity. That's why I'm a little slow this morning. I want you to hear it. Uh, huh? Uh -huh. To every preacher that gets up here and uh, dilutes the message, uh, uh, preach them typically messages, huh? Huh? Hide the truth, huh? In confusion, huh? That preacher will be held accountable by God for every soul that is lost because you fail to preach uh, the full counsel of God uh, without fear or favor. You're scared if you tell them the truth, guess what? They won't pay you next week. Guess what? God will pay you, huh? God uh, owes everything, huh? Lot and his family, uh, well, 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 I need to get out of here. Uh, Lot and his family are settled in Sodom. Uh, they're surrounded by sin. Uh, and what at one time was a sin and repulsive to them uh, is now acceptable to them. Uh, uh, somebody told me wrestling with dogs, you were surely. Uh, Get, 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 get fleas. Uh, well, uh, I want to know is there anybody in the house uh, who is leaning? Uh, who is falling uh, in the wrong direction? Uh, you got those fleas uh, for going the wrong way. Uh, but you ran, uh, you ran into God. Uh, and if you did, uh, you ought to stand on your feet uh, and give God and Jesus a shout out. Uh, for it was them uh, that propped you up. Uh, it was God uh, that pulled you out of drug addiction. Uh, it was God uh, that pulled you out of alcoholism. Uh, Uh, God 
the city had been leaning uh, in the wrong direction uh, for a long time. Uh, and it was time uh, for it to fall. Uh, and it locked uh, because you've been in the city. Uh, you've been leaning uh, in the wrong way. Uh, Yeah. 
Guess what? 